Welcome back to another episode where I break down Carl Pilkington's future predictions of what he thinks is going to happen. Now, he's already predicted 2020's occurrence of coronavirus. He's already predicted AI usage and how that's taking over the world. What else is coming up? So in this episode, I'm going to be talking near the end of the video about how uh, he predicts that someone, he doesn't say who, but we know it's Elon Musk, is going to be taking us to Mars. Now, Ricky calls him silly for it, but, you know, it turns out that it's going to be true. Anyway, um, I will be taking a bit of an avenue down this road because I'm going to start off by playing the video where uh, he's questioned with the thought and ideologies around the schooling system and how he would change it. So let's jump into that right now. So as you know, I don't agree with the current schooling education system where the basic necessities of life aren't provided like, you know, money management or how to change a light bulb. But I was actually listening to a podcast the other day where they were saying that uh, some students of the age of like six to seven didn't know how to use scissors. I mean, it's ridiculous. So it was actually good to see Carl get challenged with this question in season one, episode 10. So let's check that out. Of course, as ever, lots of questions for Carl as well, just to sort of try and tap into his brain, see what's going on there. Question from uh, Jade. Carl, what would you change if you were in charge of what kids are taught in school? Right, you know, because, I mean, your school experience was a bit... If you got very bored, didn't you? You got very disillusioned by school. Yeah. What I'd do, right, is... Uh, instead of keep sort of teaching kids about two and two and that, which is four... Right. <laughs> well done. Show um, off. <laughs> um, I think it should be asked more questions that make him think rather than something that has just got an answer. I totally agree. I totally agree. Right? So, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so teaching them the, 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 the quest for knowledge, uh, inflaming their imagination. But just freaking them out a bit as well, just going, like... <laughs> See, I knew that's where it was going. Because <laughs> yeah. as soon as you started talking, Rick, I was thinking you're thinking some of the big existential or philosophical questions. You yeah. Know, what it, does it mean to be human? What does it mean to interact with other exactly. humans? To be a human, or, or, or teaching them sort of like philosophy on a basic level that you know, teaching them the love for learning. So yeah. you know, get them out to a roots level so they want to learn and then they will learn, as opposed to just teaching them facts. Whereas he, he was thinking, <laughs> freak them out of it. Yeah. No, just like you know, like I read the other day, um, and someone sent it in on email, like how there's a, a, a dishwasher that's been found on Mars. Rubbish. Whoa, what? Right? It's not. So he talks at the end there about a dishwasher on Mars. Now, Carl would be getting the kids to become more creative at writing, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So let's just carry on. Tell them that. But it's not true. Go home and write about it. How did that happen? But it didn't happen. The, well, it did happen. It was in a science magazine. No, it didn't happen. There's not in, a dishwasher a on Mars. For that. But all I'm saying is teach kids things about... Say to them, right, when you go home tonight, there was dinosaurs nothing that ages ago. How would you have lived with them? Get on with it. See you later. Well, they didn't. I've told you this before. You, you got a lot of your information from the Flintstones and One Million Years BC with Rakao Welsh. There weren't dinosaurs knocking around where there were little fellas knocking around in fairy pants. No, no, but just sort of saying to him, all right, then, here's a different question. Go on, then. Would it be better um, to have dinosaurs knocking about now whilst yeah. we're here? Because what... I, I put that in my diary the other day, that, that <laughs> when you think about it, there's a population problem. Yeah. There's too many of us. Yeah. We're saving people all the time. No one's allowed to get injured anymore. You've got to, you know, wear a helmet when you're on a bike. So again, his thoughts here around the population being high are now actually outdated, though. But this was a funny idea. So let's just check this article out that I have found. So you can simply find this article by typing in population will decrease into Google and this is what comes up. So the global growth rate in absolute numbers accelerated to a peak of 92.8 million in 1990, but slowed to 80 million in 2019. Long term projections indicate that the growth rate of the human population of this planet will continue to slow down and that before the end of the 21st century, it will reach zero. Now, this is quite a worrying statistic in itself. Um, so let's just go more into that for a second. It's actually now getting to the point where more and more people don't actually want kids. And the fact that some people only have one child, it doesn't counteract for the two parents that are having them. So what I mean by that is basically when uh, two people have one child, there's three of them. So if one dies, there's still two of them again. Therefore, the, the general term of the population to be growing would, that, would be that two parents, so a mum and a dad, would have three kids 
basically to keep up population numbers and that's how it works on the population growth scale um so yeah there is that but also the fact that people cannot afford to have kids these days uh it's like you know the cost of living has gone up uh, and it's getting quite serious of where people are making choices around the fact that they cannot you know have the basic necessities for themselves that they're thinking well how how could i bring a child into the world when something like this is going on and you know things like that aren't slowing down with inflation rate ridiculously high and uh you know <laughs> bills being ridiculously high everything being ridiculously high people are finding it more of a struggle to start surviving for just them so why would they want another child and uh yeah that's another reason for the uh decline in that but um going back to the video <laughs> going back to the video so basically carl's idea is <laughs> what i'm going to jump to now is about uh someone to just taking us to space now he doesn't realize it but he was talking about elon musk what would happen right, here's, here's another question this is one that i chuck out to kids as well we we're talking about education teaching kids stuff so sure. what would happen right uh we ruin this world right goes wrong and that right which we currently are, which he's uh, spot on with. They shut it down. They go, we're moving. We go to another planet. It's as simple as that yeah. in his world. It's as simple as that. We... But Ricky doesn't realise that Elon is on it. <laughs> can't go to uh, Mars because it's full of stuff that used to be in Dixon's. It's like a tip. Yeah, it's a nightmare. So we can't go there, we go somewhere else. Something that I've always wondered about, if we do that, do we start New Year's or do we carry on? What Do you know what I mean? Do we say, oh, it's still 2006? Or do we go, oh, it's world... It's world new, whatever. Yeah. New world. That is definitely the first priority. Yeah. It's year one. Right, we've sorted that out. Right, now well, it depends, doesn't it? They call him silly, they call him ridiculous, they call him uh, a round-headed buffoon. But actually, Carl is pretty spot on with his predictions. And uh, yeah, it's crazy to think. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so make sure you tune in for the next episode uh, whenever I post that, which hopefully will be soon. But uh, make sure that you do subscribe down below so you don't miss out on that. And if you did like this, make sure you do press the uh, like button. If you didn't, then, you know, dislike it and I'm going to call you Wendy. <laughs> Only hardcore fans would get that. Anyway, thanks for watching and speak to you soon. Cheers.